Terrence, today I brought you to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're only here for one thing. Delicious chicken and waffles better than anything you've ever had. You gotta check this out. Let's head on down then. I'm Alex Berman. And I'm Terrence Berman. Two brothers with a big appetite and a love for the world's finest food. We're traveling the globe to bring you the best meals on earth. Yardbird is a Las Vegas staple for Southern food. They got the best Southern in the city, and dare I say, the best Southern food in the world, at least the best chicken and waffles. And I'm so excited to show it to Terrence. Let's go inside and have some delicious food at Yardbird. Huge line today. We had a reservation at 1215. Alex Berman. Off the bat, Yardbird, so nice. Great vibes in here. Nice, busy restaurant. If it's busy, you know it's high volume, and that means it's gonna be good. Yeah, now we're back. Different channel. <laughs> Great. The hostess was asking if we were here yesterday, and, and we were. For our sister channel, Every Burger in Vegas, we did try the burger at Yardbird, and it was fire flame. I love the vibe in here. There's like lights inside of little glass bottles. It's nice and dark, nice and relaxing. I like it. And we get the chicken and waffles, the skillet cornbread, and the butter lettuce and mango salad. Great. Everything together would be awesome. Thank you so much. I literally am so excited to eat chicken and waffles. That's why my eyes are so wide right now. I have been blinked in about four hours waiting for these chicken and waffles. That's so weird, because I also haven't blinked in hours. What do you think is up with that? I think we're just so excited for those chicken and waffles. I don't think I'll ever blink again. I've never blinked in my life. They have this beautiful bottle. Let's give it a sip. I think that's alcohol. Tastes like bourbon. So I spit it out. I don't do alcohol. Let me see what we're dealing with here. So it's made with bourbon for sure. Don't worry, Terrence. I don't think you tried alcohol. It smells like all the alcohol was cooked out of it. Next up, we got this beautiful bottle. I hope it's not filled with alcohol. I, I really hate alcohol. It looks like it's some sort of hot sauce. I'm not going to drink it out of the bottle this time. It's unsanitary. I'm going to pour some on this plate and lick the plate like a normal person. <laughs> So spicy. This is a terrible experience. Oh, call the ambulance. We asked the waiter just to confirm. This is bourbon maple syrup, but all the alcohol has been cooked out. You take an illegal substance that you can't serve to anyone under the age of 21, heat it up for at least two to three seconds, then you can serve it right to kids, no problem. America. <laughs> Here's a history lesson. Chicken and waffles is a classic American breakfast food. Other American breakfast foods include bacon and eggs, eggs benedict, and Belgian waffles. Thanks, I didn't know that. Thank you. Great. Amazing. Thank you. Now, Terrence, hope you're ready to try the best chicken and waffles in the world. But first, let's try a bite of this salad. It's colorful. There's nuts in it. It looks so good. Let's go. The vinaigrette filled with flavor. It's a nice tangy salad. I love how colorful it is. You can taste those colors. You can taste all those different textures. You got tomato, the mango, makes it sweet. It's so good. Alex, give it a shot. Thank you, sir. Let's try to make the perfect bite as well. I got the mango in there. Got the red onion. Got the little pecans. Rich, meaty, unctuous. There was a hint of bacon flavor throughout the entire salad. That is an orchestra of flavor. The mango is the violin. The pecan is the cello. The vinaigrette is the string section. The tomato is the piano. And I'm the conductor. The conductor of flavor. Mm. Terrence, we've had some good cornbreads in our lives. I want you to try and give your thoughts on the Yardbird Cornbread. Yardbird Cornbread, looks good. Look at the salt crystals on that butter. Come on now. 
great and good in the neighborhood. Mmm. Oh my god. This is authentic southern cooking taken to a higher class. The butter is locally sourced, unbelievably good, and that cornbread is so, so, so savory. This might even be better than the last cornbread we had. One of the best in the world, for sure. Alex, give this a shot. I'll go in for a bite. Let's get a little bit of this butter in here. Mm. Houston, we have a problem. This cornbread is too good. Pure corn flavor, notes of jalapeno, that beautiful salty butter on top takes it over the moon. Torrents, it's time to try the chicky waffles. Chicky chicky, boom boom, chicken chicken, waffle waffle. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get some of that chicken off the bone, some nice waffle flavor. Dip it in the syrup. That's a bite. Let's go. Mm. Mm -hmm. The chicken is so juicy. Skin so crispy. And that waffle, they know how to cook. This is the best chicken and waffles I've ever had in my life. Oh my God. I want to eat this whole plate right now. But first, Alex, come on, get in there. You went in with the fork. I'm going to go in. Whole hog. Let me try a bite of this chicken thigh. Mm. Fresh, juicy, beautifully seasoned. And then with the waffle, mm. real maple syrup with just a hint of bourbon. So sweet, so beautiful. If you haven't tried real maple syrup before, I recommend trying it. It's nothing like you're gonna get in the grocery store like Log Cabin or Mrs. Butterworth Syrup. This is the real deal. And then to top it all off, mm, perfectly in season watermelon. I love these watermelons more than I love Jenny. I do declare that these waffles are the best on earth. And you can take that from me, Terry B. the Country Boy. What an amazing adventure. Make sure to subscribe so you can see us again next time. Next week on Best Meals on Earth. It's so good. It's so good.